What's going on, Slayers? It's Darkshot of the YouTube Assassin, and we are in week two of our Guerrilla War Flare event. So we got eight brand new challenges, and we're going to get into them right now, figure out what they are and how to do them. So first, we have the Fighting Demons. Complete two battle mode matches as a demon, 25,000 XP. The uh, Fire and Fury, kill 40 demons that are on fire with grenades. That's another 25,000 XP. Next, we have Down You Go, Glory Kill 1 Tyrant, 25,000 XP. Give Us a Smile, Kill 1 Pain Elemental with the Crucible, 25,000 XP. Then we have Colosseum Participant, Complete 2 Battle Mode Matches as a Slayer, 25,000 XP. That's Complete, not Win. And Bloody Knuckles, Kill 50 Fodder Demons with Blood Punch, 25,000 XP. Now, this is going to be interesting because... Will we have enough on my favorite board to do both of them at the same time? We'll find out. Flesh Carver, kill five heavy demons with the chainsaw, 25,000 XP. And Colosseum Victor, win three battle mode matches. That's another 25,000 XP. And that is winning, not just participating. So if we complete four out of eight of these challenges, we will get 50,000 XP, and if we complete all eight, that's 150,000 XP on top of all the XP we've already earned, including the reward for doing four out of the eight. So we're going to go to the final sin, and we're going to see what we're able to come up with here. Right away, you see all kinds of action going on, and we should be able to at least get a bunch of them together where we could light them on fire and then kind of throw a grenade at them. And we want to make sure that they're lit on fire. Obviously not frozen. And then we want to throw that grenade. Now this guy, what I wanted to do here was actually hit him with a chainsaw. But I messed that up. Kind of did the blood punch, which I don't think that counted. But there we go. A couple of guys will get this guy on fire as well. And we could actually do this like much quicker. And there we go, like with the chainsaw. Just keep running around finding like everybody else just give them the chainsaw but all those fodder demons you want to light on fire throw the grenade and then when we complete that we'll do the blood punch but so far this is going pretty well there's also going to be a pain elemental here that we'll be able to hit with the uh, crucible and obviously we've already got like all five of these uh, of these guys that that we needed the heavy demons there's tons of those guys around. Yep, there we go. And then we'll just keep lighting them up, throwing that grenade. And then the other thing that we'll do as well is uh, we eventually we'll get it so that we actually do the blood punch. We'll try to get a bunch of them together and do the blood punch. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do it. Um, there's a lot of room here, so... I have a pretty good feeling that we'll be able to get it all done. There's the pain elemental, boom. So he's already taken out. And then, again, we could just run around the board and continuously get the rest of these guys. We want to light them on fire, like I said. And then you want to throw that grenade. And it looks like there's just a ton of them. And you can actually stick around for a little bit. And as you're sticking around, you'll see that there'll be more of the kind of zombie demons that will come out and they'll just keep populating the area and we'd probably be able to like do that we're probably be able to complete everything else but so far like i said it's looking good it's pretty quick we got going on here Yeah, still not doing too bad. I kind of like my odds here as far as getting these challenges done. I'll be able to get a bunch of them done all at once. And we know that the Tyrant is already out. Look at that, we completed two. We just have these two to do. And then the down you go, that's going to happen right now. And what I like to do is put on this weapon here just so that I could kind of tap them a couple of times because what happens is you're able to put on the cheats while you're doing this, regardless of what uh, level that you've got it on or anything like that. You're able to cheat, you're able to like do all this stuff. So I actually have a file 
that I have it's you know like a, a the lowest level and it just makes it easy just to like get all these things done so that's basically what that's for but there we go look at this we're almost done with this and then we'll get into bloody knuckles and like I said bloody knuckles is going to be the challenge where rather than light them up we're going to have to like really get them with the blood punch and you're going to have to make sure that you're able to just access some of these uh, enemies and, and maybe restore your blood punch, which is going to be like a little bit of a pain, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be that bad. As you can see, though, we, we've got this in the bag so far. This is just done. Look at this. None of these guys are, are any sort of a challenge or a match. And look at that, that was done. So now we can just do the bloody knuckles. And again, it, it's going to be kind of hard. We, we could knock a bunch of them down. But then we have to restore the blood punch. So we're going to have to like go around, maybe tap one or two of the enemies. And then we'll be able to use that to our benefit. Now what was really crazy here was that the game just shut off on me. So I didn't get to complete the board. It shut off on me as soon as... I was dealing with uh, the final sin itself. Um, it, it, I don't know what happened. It just shut down. I went to jump through the portal, and that was it for the game. So I just restarted it, and here we are loading back in, and I'm going to be checking out what the series info is. And honestly, we've got to have right now like five of eight done. And again, it was like really simple. It was really easy. Yep, there we go. Five of eight, we're already about mid-level nine, maybe two-thirds of it. So in completing the online portions, I'll be able to like get the rest of that with no problem. And as I said before, you should too. It's going to be very, very easy. Anyway, that's all there is to this. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Remember to rip and tear. What's going on, Assassins? Are you aware I have a retro channel? It's a bunch of games that I play that may be from your childhood, or if you're too old to be part of the original NES era and stuff like that, it's just a bunch of nostalgia and letting you know where your roots are from all the current video games. I play them all. Also, coming soon, I have a dark kind of channel in which I play a bunch of scary type games. Not just play them, but I will also be visiting a lot of haunted areas in New York and telling you stories based on not just video games, but real life situations that have occurred that are scary. All kinds of things, the most accurate information, just to creep you out. Are you ready for it? I'll put links in the description below.